I'm sure there are many Mercedes fans who were expecting the Silver Arrows to bounce back from their dismal start to the 2023 campaign and challenge Red Bull for some race wins this year. By the looks of the team's performance till Silverstone, that hasn't happened just yet. But the team have announced their development plans for this and next year, which not only could see them being competitive in 2024 from race 1, but also will improve the team's performance in 2023. With this in mind, are we going to see Mercedes compete in 2023, and how are the team's prospects looking for 2024? Mercedes started the 2023 season on a bad note, which is why the team opted for a change in development direction. Furthermore, with how the W14 performed at pre-season testing in at Bahrain, the Silver Arrows were off to a rocky start with their star driver Lewis Hamilton, which is why he called out his team for not listening to him while developing the 2023 car. This might have been one of the deciding factors for the team to ditch their unique aero philosophy for something which is more in line with the rest of the grid. Mercedes arrived with a near-to-be spec car at Monaco, which was further expanded at Silverstone. The team feels it's a nudge in the right direction, and the engineers back at the factory believe that there's more to discover in the car, which might not be possible in 2023. This might be one of the reasons why the team has chosen to focus more on the 2024 car's development sooner than anyone else, apart from Red Bull. This does not directly translate bad news for the team, as they've now set their eyes on the prize, and that's winning championships before 2026. Although 2026 might be the year where a massive shakeup within the pecking order would materialize, Mercedes might have an ace up their sleeves and pull up a performance like what Max Verstappen did in 2021. Obviously, the silver arrows are far away from where they want to be. Although Barcelona showed some initial promise of where Mercedes can be this season, the resurgence of the likes of McLaren and Ferrari have overshadowed Mercedes' progress. But that does not entirely bother Wolf and Co, as he announced that he does not care if his team finishes second or third in the championship, as long as they are not winning, which is their ultimate goal. That is one of the biggest reasons why we might see Mercedes engineers shift their focus on the W15 while they ditch the development of the Diva 2.0. And therefore, Mercedes will be heading into the 2024 campaign with a car which they believe will be able to fight head-to-head -head with next year's Red Bull. When talking about this matter, Wolf went on to add, I think pretty soon, we have no choice. P2 or P3 fundamentally doesn't impact me and the team. It's about coming back and being able to win a world championship. I thought that Silverstone based on our historic performances was the best shot of a first win in 2023, but it wasn't. So maybe there's another track where we have the best shot because the characteristics of the car have changed. I always believe that we can beat Max. We have a good group of people, the best drivers and we just have to give them a car that is more predictable and not the Diva 2.0 and much more complicated than the first one. However, Wolf's statement does not mean that Mercedes are out of the 2023 championship race as the fight for race wins will continue down to the line till Abu Dhabi just like they did last season. They were even challenging Ferrari to snatch P2 and the constructors in the 2022 season, up until the last Grand Prix at Abu Dhabi. Nevertheless, the upcoming race is at Hungary, where last season, George Russell snatched his maiden pole position in Formula 1. The Brit was even close to converting that pole to a race victory, if not for the pit stop battle and Verstappen's resurgence within the Grand Prix. This year, Hungary will be a big test for the Silver Arrows, more so a big test for the new front wing the team introduced at Silverstone. Out of all the new parts the Silver Arrows have introduced since the Monaco Grand Prix, the new front wing scratches most engineering heads back at Brackley. Wolf labeled that upgrade as a big step, but we did not see a bump in lap time around Silverstone. When clarifying what the new front wing's characteristics were and if it performed to the team's expectations, the tech genius of Mercedes James Allison revealed that the new front wing should improve the car's slow speed performance, and the upgraded part did work as expected on the W14. Therefore, Hungary, a track filled with slow speed corners combined with the high downforce requirements, will serve as a proper test for the new Mercedes front wing. The race at Hungary will depict if the W14's development is moving in the right direction. With the recent leap McLaren made at Silverstone, with a near-to-be spec upgrade, both Mercedes drivers should feel a lot of pressure from McLaren's resurgence within the championship fight. That is because, it is still early days in the current campaign, we have not yet reached the halfway point of this season. So, if the Silverstone trend continues, Mercedes' second place in the constructors will be under threat from the revived McLaren team. Nonetheless, Hungary is the race marked next on the Mercedes calendars, and when talking about this matter, James Allison went on to add, We were all very hopeful of the steps we were going to hopefully take. To our disappointment, it didn't take us that step, unfortunately. The new front wing of course is designed to make us go faster. That's why we do all our things. But the specific characteristics of this new front wing that we're excited about is, it should improve the balance and performance of the car through the slower range of the corners. Now Silverstone is famous for lots of things, 
but lots and lots of slow corners is not one of them. So what we took as a comfort from Silverstone is that in the slower parts of the track, we were looking pretty decently competitive. So that's a tick in the box for this new front wing. Hungary is a track made up almost entirely of slower stuff. That we'll get to know for sure, but early signs are promising. New front wings seem to do what we expected, and hopefully, it will bring us more at tracks which have a wider range of slow corners. Finishing P2 or P3 is not the result Mercedes will be satisfied with. Although teams like McLaren and Ferrari will be happy with the progress they have made during the course of this season, Mercedes, eight times consecutive constructors champions would not consider anything other than victory to be success. And until they reach this point, all heads back at Brackley will work 100%. The positive thing for Mercedes, even during this hard time is the person riding the simulator role, Mick Schumacher. The German is helping both Hamilton and Russell in testing out various setups for race weekends, working overnight on a Friday to prepare the car for the Saturday and Sunday. Both British drivers have praised Schumacher's hard work on the simulator more times than we can count. While he might have ideas of returning to the grid on a Mercedes-affiliated car, now his focus is on making the team his father once built, to the place it was in 2021, the dominant force. James Allison has talked about the development within the current cars which is yet to be unlocked. Many would think that the 2023 cars are at its peak, with the competitiveness we are seeing below Verstappen every race, but finishing first at the checkered flag is still the goal. And until that happens, that means there is certainly greater room for development. This is a process which Allison believes would come towards Mercedes sooner rather than later. When talking about this matter, the tech genius went on to add, Well, the simple answer is yes. We're only around about halfway through the season and there's still plenty more development to come in these cars. All of the teams will of course be turning their attention to next year, and that will sort of just defang all of us a little bit in terms of the rate at which we can improve our cars. But for each of us and for us, absolutely there are improvements that we would like to make on the current car that we know will also carry into next year so it doesn't feel like sort of throwing good money after bad. It feels like you're investing in both seasons with those upgrades. So for us yes, you'll see the upgrades coming for a little while longer. I suspect for the others too. Due to the technical regulations being unchanged for 2024, Allison is trying to point out how this year's development will impact next year. Wolf said that the current strategy is a 50-50 split of resources between the W14 and W15 as they are still trying to boost the performance of the 2023 Diva. With the big leap McLaren has made during the season, that shows the possibility of upping the game within the next few races is possible for the Silver Arrows. Hungary will provide Mercedes with crucial information about which direction the team should pursue for its 2024 car, and the research would even grant the team with performance boost for a win or two in the 2023 season. But with every team bringing upgrades every race, Allison believes the leader behind Red Bull will change every race. But what do you guys think? Can Mercedes with its new development plan move forwards in the pecking order this season? Can they be on par with Red Bull from race 1 next season? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section down below. We'd love to discuss it with you. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of our future uploads to keep yourselves up to date about the 2023 Formula 1 season.